Hey guys, welcome back to my reaction channel and today I'm gonna be reacting to SCP-106, The Old Man by SCP Explained. The link of the original video is in the description. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing bro? Subscribe with the notification so you wouldn't miss any of my future videos. By the way, this SCP seems to be connected with the the young man, SCP the young man. I don't know about that, but I'm gonna check it out soon. Let's go. It's 3 a.m. and the facility is quiet. Office workers and administrators roam the halls. Security officers stand at their posts, clad in advanced tactical armor and carrying standard issue M4 carbines. Three Foundation employees sit at flickering monitors watching a live feed of footage from the containment cell of the infamous SCP-106, or as it's referred to by all staff, the old man. The old no man. Foundation personnel are permitted to travel within 60 feet of the cell for security reasons, and nobody is permitted to physically interact with the anomaly without the approval of two-thirds of O5 command. The observer's eyes itch and sting from hours of unending blue light exposure, but they can't look away. The old man is crafty. He might have the insatiable bloodlust of a hungry great white shark, but he's not mindless. He's a calculating predator, more sadistic than the worst human serial killer, and he's always searching for the next opportunity. According to the Foundation records, he's been active since at least World War II, and it's estimated that he has hundreds if not thousands of Ooh. victims to his name, and many of those made simple That's but extremely foolish mistakes of underestimating him. After all, it only takes a few seconds of inattentiveness and the briefest moment of distraction to give immortal, him the window though? he needs. To do what, you ask? Oh, don't worry. You'll find out, just like they did. <laughs> the old man has his nickname for a reason. <laughs> Most of the time, he really does look exactly like that. An old man, or more specifically an old man's decaying corpse, his body covered in rotten, dark, grayish black flesh that looks like putrid meat. Though the creature has been observed being Fucking able to hell, change bro. shape, the rot seems to run too deep for the old man to ever hide it. Foundation employees that Disgusting, have observed SCP-106 for extended periods of time have reported seeing it assume Damn. the form of grinning, decayed children and women whose rotted flesh barely hangs on their creaking bones. Just seeing the image- What? Greening, decaying children, goddamn of all things that you're gonna disguise its children. That is creepy as hell, bro. What Images through God? a video feed is enough to cause a lifetime of insomnia <laughs> and other sleeping issues. Still, they have a job to do and the cameras remain fixed on the old man. He's been completely motionless for three months, just sitting there like a Buddhist monk in deep meditation. A novice might see this period of inactivity okay. as a cause for celebration, but those with experience know that this is merely the calm before the storm. SCP-106 can remain in a dormant state for months at a time. Described by the Foundation scientists as a lulling state, it's believed that the old man is simply waiting for its captors to get soft, make a mistake, or simply have a momentary Why lapse in concentration, it, which know? is all it needs to make its move. It had it. happened so many times before, and it was about to happen again. One of the observers must have felt an overwhelming wave of anxiety as he saw the creature ever so slightly twitch. Just a tiny quiver in the shoulder muscles, but that was enough to tell the observer that their day had just oh, taken no. a terrifying turn. He grabbed the emergency phone That's fixed it. to his desk and practically screamed into the receiver that 106 is moving, that they need a tactical team stat. But he was already too late. He and the other two observers stared into the monitors with their mouths agape as a gooey, rust-like substance began to pool around the creature on the floor of its cell. Slowly, the creature craned its withered neck around. Its face was fixed into a broad, yellow-toothed, lipless grin. Its eyes had the kind of dull, flat malice of an underwater predator. It looked directly into the camera, directly at them, and smiled. The observers knew this was bad. Really, really bad. With what they could have yeah, sworn yeah, was a little say, nod, though. the old man began sinking say. into the rusty puddle it made on the ground beneath it until it had disappeared entirely. SCP-106 is capable of phasing through any solid surface with ease, making it one of the hardest entities to reliably contain, and earning it a spot on the dreaded Keter class, reserved for the anomalies that are complete nightmares to keep locked. How do you contain it? If you can just walk through walls, how do you fucking contain it? Just kill it, bro. Like, how hard? Bro. Keep locked up. 
Through the years of costly research and deadly trial and error, the Foundation would later devise ways of at least slowing the creature down. It's shown to have an aversion to lead, highly complex or random physical structures, and intense bright light. None of these cause harm to the creature, as far as we know, literally nothing can, yeah. but they'll at least buy you some precious extra seconds with which to at least try and escape. Seconds the three observers didn't have. One of them grabbed an emergency line again and barked into it that they had lost visual on the anomaly. Just then the observers heard a faint crackling sound behind them and the hissing of a chemical oh, burn. They turned in horror to see yeah. a huge rusty burn mark expanding across the wall, right next to the door, which was their only escape route. They backed as far away from the door as they could as a rotten hand began reaching out of the mass of corrosive black sludge, followed by the grinning face of SCP-106, ready to have some fun. Meanwhile, two heavily armed security officers, Agents Goodwin and Resnick, came charging down the corridor toward the observation rooms. It became a bleak two? slogan during SCP-106 escape attempts that all you need Shouldn't to do is follow the screens. And that motto was proven thing. true that night, because awful things were happening to the observation personnel. They were certainly screaming about it. Of course, even with the top-of-the-line firearms, there was little they could do to harm the rampaging old man. He seemed immune to all forms of physical damage. All they could hope to do oh, was so keep the thing why. distracted until the scientists and containment specialists finished the preparations to lure him back into his containment cell. Goodwin surged forward while Resnick covered his six. Vigilance was key, as unlike a standard human combatant, SCP-106 could attack from literally any angle including above or below. Physical obstacles were irrelevant to him and no cover was safe. The hardened security officers could see the burn mark on the wall of the observation room as they approached. SCP-106 was perpetually coated Yo, in a dude. thick black mucus with powerful corrosive properties that left any surfaces it touched permanently marred. Foundation scientists oh, speculated that this mucus served as a kind of pre-digestive substance toxic, that bro. tenderizes meat and yeah. bone alike. But to what purpose this serves is a mystery as the old man has never been observed eating. It's postulated mm -hmm. that the only purpose is causing additional pain. Goodwin and Resnick what knew to treat this hissing sludge as a potential threat, as the corrosive properties would remain active for as much as six hours before finally fizzling out. The two officers shared a quiet nod before Goodwin breached the observation room door with a hard kick. The two of them surged inside, guns at the ready. In their time working at the Foundation, they'd seen some truly horrific sights. From the mutilation of D-Class personnel, typically death row prison inmates brought in for use as SCP guinea pigs, to the violence and mayhem of a containment breach. But there was nothing in their past that would ever make the horrifying sight they saw in the observation room that night feel normal. All three observers were dead. Yeah. Almost nothing remained of two of them, and the third, while still intact, no longer looked human. He looked like he'd somehow been dead so a hundred years a in the brief period bomb, that the old man like, had been free. His skin was gray and completely dried out, place, and his mouth was locked into a perpetual scream. It was a massacre, but there was no sign of the old man. Goodwin grabbed dead. his radio and whispered, This is Goodwin in Observation Room 6, requesting immediate backup. We have no idea where this thing is. But his sentence was cut off by a sudden scream from Agent Resnick. SCP Foundation security officers are as tough as nails, the best of the best, you might say. Recruited from the top military organizations in the world, so hearing one of them scream in fright is a rare, if not impossible, occurrence. But even they were forced to yell out in fear when they looked up to That's see so the old creepy. man standing on the ceiling, grinning down at them. Resnick raised his M4 and shot a three-round burst at center mass. SCP-106 didn't care. Even under sustained gunfire from the two security officers, it didn't flinch. The old man simply reached down and snatched Agent Resnick from the ground like it was picking an apple from a tree. The old man held Resnick in one hand and pounded its other rotten fist into the agent's body, breaking all of his bones. Resnick screamed for his partner to help him, but there was no time. Before Goodwin could do anything, SCP-106 began receding back it's into run, another bro. slimy burn mark on the wall. Only this time, he was taking his screaming victim with him. Agent Resnick gave one more horrified scream before he was pulled backward into the inky darkness, leaving the room silent except for the burning hiss of the corrosive goo left behind. You might think this would be the end of it, but no. For poor Agent Resnick, the worst was yet to come. He was being dragged into what the SCP Foundation scientists refer to as the old man's pocket dimension. A miniature layer of reality within our own where the malicious SCP is essentially a cruel, all-powerful god. 
According to witness reports extracted Holy from shit. victims who were taken to this literal Yo. nightmare realm, the dimension resembles a series of twisting, endless corridors where the old man stalks and tortures his captured victims to the breaking point, manipulating space and time to his Why own sadistic though, like ends. On rare occasions, the SCP will even release its victims just for the joy of hunting, capturing, and torturing them all over again. While Agent Resnick was learning the true meaning of terror, containment specialists were mobilizing in its cell, preparing the one known tried and true method of luring the old man back, tempting it with the prospect of causing even more suffering. In order to do this, Foundation oh. personnel take one of the aforementioned Class D personnel and begin inducing extreme pain by breaking a major bone or slicing a tendon every 20 minutes. The victim's agonizing screams are then played over the facility's intercom, acting as bait for the pain-loving old the man. Fuck, the screams bro. echo through the facility's otherwise silent halls as the mutilated corpse of Agent Resnick falls from a new scorch mark on the ceiling. The old man can hear the sounds of suffering ringing out through the air around him, and he can barely contain his excitement over the prospect of a new plaything. The snapped femurs, the torn Achilles tendons, it was all too good to miss. Having had its twisted fun with the security officers and observers, SCP-106 wandered back to its containment cell, where a new screaming victim awaited. The other security oh, officers, yeah, containment that, specialists, and scientists evacuated the area, the leaving first. the old man alone with his prey. While the unfortunate Class D was left to his fate, the rest of the staff commenced cleanup procedures, which mainly involved wiping the brown and black mucus from the walls. It would probably be at really? least another month before anything like this happened again, and new personnel would be transferred over to the facility to replace the fallen. All in all, just another night at That's the SCP disgusting. Foundation. And that's it bro like that is scp 106 the sadistic old man sadistic i added it to see sadistic as fuck it's also disgusting as hell anyway guys like, what i didn't understand is that why didn't they just torture somebody the moment it got out you know so there's few casualties also i can see a lot of ways to kill it like put it in the acid bath like what they did to the to the crocodile thing or just send it into space bro like they have technology and stuff why don't they just kill it bro man anyway like the video subscribe to my channel see you next time